Hello guys, welcome to Wisdom Grace. This is Brahim M. Kalon. Um, today, I want to share one of my favorite Bible verse. And um, this verse is in the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10. And this verse has blessed my heart. And I want to share with you. So... Before we um, get to this verse, I would like us to pray. Father, we acknowledge you in this moment of sharing your word. I pray that God, you will use this opportunity to bless someone, to, to inspire someone. Those who are watching and those who are listening, that God, let this verse speak to them let this verse minister to their needs let them come to know your son jesus and holy spirit i ask that you will take full preeminence over this uh, moment glorify yourself in this lord let your name be magnified we ask for revelation insight into your word as we share John chapter 10 verse 10 this I ask in your son's name amen I strongly believe in the Word of God and you and I we can never come to the point in our lives where we can exhaust the Word of God the Word of God is so deep it's as full of nutrients that are good for our soul that are good for our spiritual man and also our physical man and the Word of God is our daily bread you and I we cannot live without it the Word of God nourishes our souls the Word of God flourishes our lives and today we are gonna look at John chapter 10 verse 10 I'm gonna start reading John chapter 10 from verse 7 and our focus is gonna be on verse 10 look what it says then Jesus said to them again most assuredly I say to you I am the door of the sheep verse 8 all who ever came before me are thieves and robbers but the sheep did not hear them I am the door if anyone enters by me he will be saved and he will go in and out and find pasture verse 10 the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy i have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly Verse 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. You and I need to know this. No greater love is expressed except a man lays down his life for another. And Jesus Christ fulfilled the greatest love for you and I. He laid down his life on the cross for you and I. He laid down his life so you and I, we can have his life. Jesus traded his life and the type of life that Jesus traded for you and I, it's a spiritual life. It's uh, an internal life, a life that will never perish, a life that is glorious, a life of peace a life of beauty, a life of joy, a life of exploit, a life of impact, a life of righteousness, a divine life, a life that is godly. So Jesus traded his life for our lives. Main purpose, Jesus Christ came for you and I to give us life. I'm not talking about 
the natural existence. Life that is beyond the natural. Life that is forever. Life that is going to be forever. Life that is eternal. Life that has a relationship with God, our Creator, our Father. A life that reconnects us to our Maker. That is the life that Jesus Christ came to give you and I. And, and that life is not just in duration. That life is full of depth. That life has meaning. That life has purpose. That life is enriching. Jesus Christ traded his life for you and I so that we can have the best life. And the best life that you and I we can find, we can find it anywhere else. We cannot find a good life. We cannot find the best life apart from the life giver. We cannot find the best life apart from the fountain of life. We cannot find the best life apart from the bread of life. So that is why Jesus Christ has come to give you and I life. Not just how long we live, but life in quality, not just in quantity. People can live long, but they can live a miserable life while you're living a long life. But that is not the case. As much as God desires you and I to, to live forever, we're not just going to live forever in misery. We are going to live in the presence of God forever. And in the presence of God, there's fullness of joy. In the presence of God, there's, there, there are pleasures forevermore. In, in the presence of God, there's, there's, there's happiness. In the presence of God, there's, there's, no, there's no fear. There's no sickness. In the presence of God, there's, there's, there's purpose, there's meaning. There's nourishment. There's, there's living water. So that life that Jesus has come to give you and I, that life is a life of quality, intense quality. To give life and life abundantly. A life that is overwhelming with joy. A life that is overwhelming with the blessings of God. A life that is overwhelming with the provisions of God. That is the life that God, Jesus, has come to give you and I. But you know what? The devil is there to steal the life of God from us. He is there to kill the life of God from us. He is there to destroy the life of God for us. That is the intention of the devil, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus Christ has come to give you life. He has not come to take your life away. He has come to add value to your life. He has come to contribute to your life. He has come to make your life better. The enemy has no good plan for your life at all. The Bible says in Jeremiah that for I know the plans that I have for you. They are good and not of evil to give you hope and an expected end. That is the intention of God. To give you and I hope, an expected end. That expectant hand in heaven forever with God Almighty. Forever worshiping Him. Forever living in His presence with joy, with peace, no more suffering. So this verse... The thief here is the devil. That is a thief. A thief will come to your house to take from you. A thief will come to your house to rob you of something of value. The enemy wants to take your peace away from you because your peace is valuable. Your peace is treasure. Money cannot buy peace and joy. This is life I'm talking about. Life is not just about the amount of possession you possess. 
Life is not just about how many cars or how many houses you have. This is just additional. But life is more than that. Life is more than things. Life is 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 who you are in the inside. Do you have peace? Do you have joy? Do you have meaning in life? Do you have a sense of purpose in life? And you can only find true joy and peace and freedom and meaning in Jesus. You can't get it anywhere else. Money cannot buy peace. Money cannot buy joy. Money cannot give you a sense of meaning. Money cannot give you a sense of hope. Money cannot give you eternal life. And the enemy attacks our joy. He attacks our peace. He attacks our hope. He attacks our confidence in Jesus. He is there to kill, to destroy, and to steal. But glory be to God Almighty, because Jesus has come to give you and I life and life abundantly. Life to the fullest. Life that is content. Life that is fulfilled. Life that is successful. Life that is holy, life that is righteous, life of love, life of kindness, life of goodness, life of great works, life of fruitfulness. That is what God has come to give you an eye. Just to sum up, the quality of life that Jesus has come to give you an eye, a life that is fruitful. To live a life to the fullest, a life that is fulfilled, fruitful life, full life, fulfilled life. That is what I call an abundant life from Jesus.